Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and today we're going to take a closer look at the Nomos Glashütte Ahoy Atlantic. Nomos is a relatively young brand that was founded in 1990 in Glashütte that's located in Germany. Uh, Glashütte has a couple of other big brands within this small watchmaking city and one of them is of course Alange and Zöne and we also have Glasit Original. Nomos is the younger brother, so to say, or the younger sibling, and they have been producing watches for 32 years now. And within this relatively short period of time, they have really established their own presence in a niche that is typically German, so to say, when it comes to the design language, since they are very influenced by the Bauhaus design. And this is what makes Nomos a very interesting young brand. They have their own design language, they produce their own in-house movements, and they come at a very reasonable price point overall. And today we're going to take a closer look at one of their most recent updates of a existing watch, and that is the Ahoy line, and the model is the Atlantic. So recently they updated the Ahoy line with three new models. Two of them are in the 40 millimeter case size, and one is in the 36 millimeter case size. The one we're going to take a closer look at today is the reference 557, which is the no date version and in the bigger size. So Nomos take on this watch is a watch that you should never be forced to take off your wrist. So whether you're at the beach and having a swim or you're at the business meeting, the watch should be suitable for every occasion. So what they've done um, with the Ahoy line is to make it a bit more robust compared to other models, such as the Tangente, for example. So let's start with the basics here. So the case measures 40.3 millimeters in diameter and is 10.6 millimeters thick. And 51 millimeter from lug to lug, so it's quite a large watch, I'd say. It also has these crown guards present, and that's what makes this watch a bit more it's not a die watch per se, but it has some kind of design cues from a typical die watch, such as the crown guards. It's also water resistant to 200 meters and has a screw down crown. What's typically normal about this watch is, of course, the design layout of the dial, but also these narrow lugs that are bent. That's something you see on almost all normal watches except uh, a couple of them, of course, such as the Club Campus. Speaking a bit about the dial, the model name uh, is a reference to the shade of blue that's called Atlantic Blue in this case. And the dial mixes Arabic numerals and thick indices, which is also present on many other Nomos watches. So this is, guys, a textbook Nomos watch in my opinion, with a couple of small upgrades or design cues that make it, makes it a bit different from other models within their lineup. We have this small second hand in red at six o'clock and we also have Superluminova in the hands and outside the hour markers you see those small yellow or orange-ish markers uh, that are also filled with Superluminova and has a green outline. The bracelet is a the strap in this case is a fabric strap with 20 millimeter between the lugs. One funny thing about this larger version is that the strap actually doesn't have enough holes to be able to fit my 16.5 centimeter wrist properly. So I see what you did there, Nomos. You want me to go for the smaller version. I don't blame you. Movement wise, we have an in-house movement by Nomos with 46 hours of power reserve. It's a nicely finished movement that is visible through the Sapphire Crystal case pack. And this is, I mean, what I like about Nomos is that they have their own in-house movements. They have their own design language and you cannot mistake this watch for anything else but a Nomos. Price wise, it's priced at 3140 euros in this exact configuration. You can also add the stainless steel bracelet if you'd like, or you can add a couple of hundred euros to get the date version. Um, I think the price is fair considering what you get. I think the build quality of the watch is very good. You get a really nicely finished movement and you get essentially what Nomos is. I think that Nomos did a great job here and I see that you can wear this 
in almost every occasion. And that's the thought behind the watch. It gives you a bit more robustness with the crown guards and the screw down crown and the 200 meter water resistance. So this is basically the watch you can wear every day. You don't have to, to take it off uh, when you're going to swim or when you're going to the business meeting. It will work for every occasion, more or less. So this is just a quick take on the newly released Nomos Ahoy Atlantic. Let me know guys what you think about the watch, what you think about the brand. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for tuning in. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.